Hello, in this video we will talk about working with clients' templates. As a starting point, let's define what is a PowerPoint template. PowerPoint template is the foundation of each presentation. PowerPoint templates bring together a PowerPoint theme and slide layouts along with any additional customizations, such as company logo, saved as background image. Every client has a different PowerPoint template that captures their company branding and other customized settings. Client's guidelines further explain all the rules that have to be applied while designing slides in a specific client's template. So as mentioned, templates bring together a PowerPoint theme and slide layouts. So themes consist of colors, fonts, effects, and background styles, while PowerPoint layouts are pre-designed formats which determine how information is displayed on a slide. Now we will take a look at example of PowerPoint themes and layouts. One of the main points in themes is the setting of the font. So in this example, you can see that the main theme fonts is relevant for both headings and body text. Theme fonts are the first two fonts set in the font list. Then we have theme colors. So theme colors are as well set right in the PowerPoint template via the slide master. And in here, you can see example of our template's colors that are set in this template. So as also mentioned previously, each client has a different template. Therefore, both theme colors and fonts and also other customized settings will differ from template to template. Now for the PowerPoint layouts. So as mentioned, the layouts capture how information should be displayed in specific slide. So therefore we can meet with many different layouts such as title page, regular content page, divider page, picture layouts, end page, and any other customized layouts that clients saved in their templates. It's very important that you know how to work with them and where to find them. So you can find them by going to home tab and then depending on if you need to insert new slide or you are only changing layout of the current slide, you may use these two options. So if you click on new slide, you will insert new slide in a layout that you will pick. If you go to layouts, you will just change the layout of the current slide. Some clients have really specific layouts that are also defined in their guidelines that must be used for specific cases such as the picture layout or maybe some company profile layouts. So always review properly guidelines and also all the layouts so you know what you are working with. If you are unsure about which layouts to work with, always confirm with your admin. Now we will move to correct understanding of admin's instructions for template. Here we have example input. Now let's imagine situation where in task description stand keep the input template. So the word keep is very crucial in here because that means we will work in the same template as was shown in the input file. So the template does not change, we keep it. You can see how the result would look. We would work on the slides, but the template would be kept. Situation would be very different if in task description stands transfer to standard company master or template or convert to clients or attached template. So you can see that the words in here suggest that we are not keeping the input template, we are transferring or converting slides to some other template. So this should be very easy way how to recognize if you should keep the template or change the template to some other attached template that you will find in your task. So as you can see here, we have just another example of how the slides would be converted to other template. Of course, in your case, this would depend on the template you would have attached in your task. This is a very important part to get right, because currently here we are looking only at two simple slides, but sometimes our tasks are much bigger. Sometimes you work with 20 slides, 40 slides, sometimes with 100 slides. So if you don't get the template correctly at the start, you might need to rework huge amount of slides. So therefore, let's talk about how to ensure working in the correct template and also why it is important. So we mentioned that it would be a huge amount of work for you if you did not get the template correctly. But also, if we send presentation to client in the wrong template, they simply cannot use it. So our client simply can't present slides to their client A in a template of client B, or they can't present their company slides in a template that does not have their company branding. So it is also important to understand this client aspect. So if you are unsure about which template project description refers to, ask your admin to clarify the correct template. And another advice is to always send early on VIP submissions 
to confirm if you work in correct template and apply all the guidelines and other instructions correctly. Early VIP submissions can really save you a lot of time, rework and prevent you from missing a deadline. So if you will always make sure that you understand what templates to work in and you will send VIP submission in good time, you are set for good start. Now we will take a look at client's template files and I will show you how one client can work with multiple templates. So let's imagine that we have client A or company A. So this company A has its own style. Therefore, they have their template of company A, they have complex guidelines, inspiration file, and maybe some other files such as fonts or icon package. But this company also work for other clients. Therefore, sometimes they might use different template than their own company template. Therefore, they have also different styles under their company. So for example, they have company X style, which consists of template of company X that this client works for, also short guidelines for this template. But then additionally, there will be always attached complex guidelines of company A style and also inspiration file of company A. So this situation might happen because we have the template of company X and also short guidelines, but they are very short. They only show us some very basic rules. And additionally to these basic rules, we will still be applying other company main rules from the complex guidelines of company A. But there as well might be situation where we have company Y style and this style has complex guidelines of company Y and it does not have any template. That is also a situation that happens on many tasks. Uh, sometimes you can just simply take template out of the regular guideline file. We do not need to have separate template file because of course the template is used in all files such as inspiration file, a guideline file, it's the same template. It's just the settings that are already set in this PowerPoint file, right? So you just clear all the slides from the guidelines and you have your template. And then this company also has their own inspiration file. Therefore, style of this company is fully defined by itself. So we have really complex guidelines for this company and we have also inspiration file. So you will simply follow these two files and you do not need to apply any additional guidelines of the main company. So now to make it a little bit easier and show you example, we will actually take a look on how to correctly apply style in case of company X like scenario. So these are our files as we already went through them. Uh, you know that we have template of company X. So you can see the template in this case, we have short guidelines of this template, but you can already see they are very short. And then we get the complex guidelines of the main company and also the inspiration file of the main company. And here we have our task. So we got input that is already in the company X template. So we do not need to convert. We should keep this template and we should apply visual enhancement. So you can already see output. And now we will just talk about how we applied these two different guidelines to this slide. You can see on the top, the company X short guidelines and at the bottom, we have the main guidelines. So for the start, we applied all specified rules from the short guidelines of template we should work in. So we use the template. That's a good start. Then we follow the layout placeholders and define slide frame. We followed the font and colors. That's pretty much everything that was defined in these short guidelines. So these short guidelines overwrite these rules of the main guidelines. So we will use the colors of the short guidelines, not of the main guidelines and so on for the other elements. But additionally, we will apply rules from the other main company guidelines, such as heading style, text box margins, bullet point style, and so on. So you can see that, for example, in here, we applied the heading that has the round edge on the top. But of course, we used the main color from the top template. But short guidelines don't have defined any text box margins. So those are taken from the main guideline. As well, if this slide would have any bullet points, we would apply the bullet point style of the main guidelines. So it would be the round dot bullet, also the same indentation as per rules of this main guideline. But again, we would just adjust the color of the bullet to the main dark blue color. And we would proceed like this with all other rules that would be defined better in the main complex guideline. But consider those few basic rules of the short guidelines. I hope this clarifies this uh, enough. 
So now just to wrap it all up, we will talk about a few main takeaway points that you should remember. So first one would be to make sure you understand terminology connected to templates, such as slide master, layouts, team colors, input template, standard template, and so on. That will really help you to right away clearly understand what admin requires from you. Also, you should always ensure that you are working in the correct template. Make sure you use correct layouts. For example, some clients use specific layouts for slides with pictures, as we mentioned. So it's uh, really important that you select correct layouts. Study clients' materials carefully to learn how to apply style and guideline rules. If you have any hesitations, always ask your admin to clarify them. And lastly, very important point, never edit clients' templates unless we specifically ask you. We never do any adjustments in their templates, like in colors, placeholders, or anything. It would have to be specific tasks where client asks us to adjust their template, and we would need to get instructions for that. Otherwise, we are not allowed to touch any settings in the client's template. That is all for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you on the platform.